I am here to talk about the Decent Scale. All right, new product, finally. Four we haven't had years, one for a while. Yeah. yeah, four years to make this thing. I go back in the YouTube history and there's like videos from like 2016 you're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I designed this thing with Bugs' help yeah. to try and make a new kind of scale. We're gonna talk nice. about why it's new. Yeah. And we designed it and then manufacturer number one fell apart. And then manufacturer two fell apart. And so we refunded everyone. Right. Two years ago. Why, why did it fall apart? Because it's a new scale with yeah. some new ideas. Yeah. And it turned out to be quite hard to do. Okay. Okay. We think we've got it all yeah. now. Food scale, 0.1 grams. That's what it does. Let's open it up. Nice. Okay. All right. So also unboxing video. Yeah. It comes in this super boring, not very Apple looking <laughs> cardboard box. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to give you your first disappointment, which is blamed on COVID. Okay, nice. Which is, okay. As I open this Classic. up, yeah. here we have the one page instructions and the AA batteries, which you will not have <laughs> because COVID has made these impossible to send by airmail. So yep. we actually are taking them out and you'll have an empty hole there. All right. Sorry. Good tease, John. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but these are the batteries we're going to use AA yeah. batteries. Okay. And then in here, you've got the instructions that went through, I think, 11 revisions to get all the typos out of there. How about one revision when you can make the font a little bigger? That would be nice. <laughs> so here in the center, yep. get your magnifying glass yes. out and, and it gives you the basic instructions. Yeah. And I'm going to go through all that all right. in this video. Okay, so AA batteries. Yes. And we're going to take the scale out. Comes in like this. Now, the thing that is different about this Ooh, it's scale. It's pretty sexy actually. Yeah, it's a shape you probably haven't seen before. Now, yeah. the reason it's that shape so you can put cup number one, cup number two, yeah. or just a cup in the center. So it's the first scale that's meant to put two cups of coffee in at once. Nice. You're making an espresso that splits it, makes sense. Okay. okay. It's also super, super, super minimal. Yeah. It is unbranded. I hate brands. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, when you go and you attach this to Bluetooth, you'll see it says decent scale. So right. people figure out who it is. But yeah. I, I, don't know, I had a brand here, didn't like it, yeah. removed it. This is like 2001. It's just a, a monolith. Yeah. Right? Now, the key thing about this is that this is a single piece of plastic over the whole top and you can yep. pour water all over this. There's no water will ever get in. So it is completely- What about hot water? Hot water. Really? Uh, so I actually, I heated a teacup so until I use gloves yeah. in the microwave. Nice. And put it on top and it was fine. Okay. Wow. So, so what, what, is the, what is the plastic material? Uh, magic. Okay. Magic, <laughs> magic plastic. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't know either. Okay, so they but, use some sort of material that is very resistant to heat. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that's why there's no like silicone piece yeah. on here. Yeah. Um, that's why we didn't do that. Also, a lot of scales with features have lots of buttons on them, and I have to get the. Where are the out. buttons? Yeah, yeah. And so this only has two buttons. Okay. okay. It's got an O thing right here. Okay. And so it's a, a round circle yeah. and a square. Right. Two buttons. Yeah. You'll see when I give it a battery. Yeah. The O, you hold it down to turn it on. Yeah. And then zero to tear. Zero okay. to tear. Kind of makes yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. This is going to have a timer. Nice. Right? And you hit once, timer on, timer pause, timer on again. Cool. That is the entire user interface. Wow. <laughs> you okay. You can tear it. You can use a timer. So there are like, there's two slots for numbers? Is yep. it? Okay. Yeah. And we'll see that in a second. Okay. The only other thing you need to know is if you're in America and you like using ounces. <laughs> You, you never can, know what that is. You can do that. Yeah. You can do that. You power it on once, holding down both buttons. Okay. If you accidentally go into ounces and you realize that it is a stupid measurement system that it is, <laughs> <clears throat> you can power it off and go I'm back glad to you're grams able to say it. like that. I'm American. I can <laughs> yeah, exactly. Say it. Just I like who wants to know about 0.3 ounces of something? That makes no sense. Okay. So yeah. the other thing I will show you is USB cable because. The way this is made is there is a USB plug in the back here. What's that for? Okay. And that's if you don't want to use batteries, you use oh, this really? right angle plug and you plug it in here. Okay. And what I have done is I have made this so that with a little bit of wiggling, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay. It comes out like that. And you can see what, what that means is now I can pour water all over the top of this. Right. And, and the no water is going to come in here. You will remark that other scales of brands I will not mention, yeah. which are waterproof, put plugs right here, mm. which kind of makes them not so waterproof. Right. So mm. I really uh, does it have that. a battery that holds charge? So the other thing is mm. I hate changing batteries. Yeah. It does not have batteries inside it because right. I really don't like devices that when the batteries are inside, you have to mm. throw it out. Right. Okay. So you you. So here 
Mm. It's four AA batteries, mm. okay, which is a lot of battery No, no, power. but I'm asking when you have the cable, that's just a plug? This is gonna give you power to the scale. So mm. if I plug this into any USB power, mm. I don't need batteries. Okay, but if I unplug it, it's gonna turn it off automatically? Yes. Okay, okay, so it's just like a plug. It doesn't really charge it, is my point. That's exactly right. Okay, got it. If it charged the batteries, then the, char the batteries could go on fire and yeah. don't want that. Okay. okay. So you plug it in, it just yeah. doesn't use the batteries. Okay. Now, the other thing about this is that this is also meant to be a scale that talks to devices, iPads, okay. Android yeah. phones, computers, all that sort of thing. Through so Bluetooth. I, through Bluetooth. And when I power it on, mm. it will stay in Bluetooth pair forever. Right. It will okay. not time out. You don't have to work quickly. Yeah. Okay. And if your app crashes or exits, yeah. it goes back into, I want to talk I'm to Bluetooth. For, okay. Okay. So hopefully this will be one of the less buggy Bluetooth devices that you own. Nice. Notice I say less buggy. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Important to set the bar very low when we're talking yep. about Bluetooth. Hopefully have done you, that. You already did that with the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very nice Chinese made scale that we don't sell. Mm. Okay. And this is how most scales work. They have a really thin metal piece here. Mm. Problem is water can go in here. Okay. Right. So there is uh, a really high end <clears throat> scale company and mm. they had an insight, which is they did this with their scale. Ooh. Okay? Yeah. Okay. They just turned it upside down. Yeah. And by doing that, they were able to make it waterproof from all these directions. Yeah, but, but that's what you follow here. No. Why? Then the really big problem with this mm. is that here, the mm. really light thing is on top. That's the weighing thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Flip it over, and now you have all the weight is on the ah. on the weighing thing. Okay. Okay. So the batteries, the chassis, everything, and the mm. really light parts in the bottom. Yeah. So the end result is that if I put that on a table, mm. any sort of vibration causes thing to uh, wobble I see, I see. and everything. Yeah. So I never really liked this design mm. because it makes it quite hard to weigh things. Mm. So instead, I took their idea, which was cool, of yeah. a hat over the whole scale. Yeah. And I just took this and I stretched the metal over the edges. Okay. Okay. I see. That's what this is. Yeah. And so that caused a new problem, which is where do the buttons go? Yeah. Okay. And where does the weight go? Yeah. We're going to see in a second, it's going to shine through here. Okay. So this is obviously not just for coffee. This is essentially trying to do the world's first open food scale. Okay. And by open, mm. I mean, it's open to let other people work with it. So we're in the process of emailing every app that we can find that we think could use a scale and we're sending these out for free. If you have an app uh, that uses a scale, just reach out to us. You get one of these for free. Yeah. Or if you wanted to add a scale, so bartending apps, mixing yeah. hair color, baking. I can think of a group of people who can overs. really use a scale, but I don't think we should reach out to them. No, no. don't reach out to us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so the goal is that this is an inexpensive sale, yeah. scale, it's 99 US yeah. and it'll work with everything. That's why there's no brand name with it. Okay, that makes sense now. I've put four years of my life into making this thing because so many people want a scale that they can use for their own apps and it doesn't exist. What's the maximum uh, weight? This will take two kilos. Okay, okay, so it's like usually for for the kitchen. That's right. That's so it is 0.1 grams accurate. Yeah, it'll go to two kilos. And next year, you know, if people really like these things, yeah. we can make a five kilo version. Nice. But it'll only go one gram accurate. There's always this compromise yeah, of accuracy yeah. and max weight. Okay. Nice. So uh, let's put batteries into it. Can you turn it on? It. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. All right, Mohammed, you do the honors. Yeah, sure. <laughs> First time. This is gonna take ages. Okay, yeah. there you go. So when you give me the batteries, because I'm going to show how the batteries go in, because it's there got go. something One, that's a little bit clever. Two. Okay. Whoa. So I'm there's a little it. retaining piece of plastic here. Okay. So if you try and put the battery straight in, you can't. So what you got to do is you put it in like that, and, and then slide. you slide. Ooh. Okay. Smart. So in the second one, you don't have to do that. The advantage of doing that is that now the batteries don't come out easily because there's that retaining clip. There you go. Okay. So once again, in there, and then slide. Nice. And because these are our AA batteries, mm. they last a long time. And I just tap there and you see yeah, the light go on? The, yeah, there is a light. So what's this first light? Does that mean light, it's powered on? It means it's sensing a button press. Okay. Okay. There are three different little lights on this. Mm. So if I tap that, it says button press. Mm. Okay. And I need to put, settle it down. So if I hold that down for two seconds, it says hello. Cool. Okay. And now it's ready to go. Right. The so blinking blue light says, please give me a Bluetooth, Bluetooth device. Bluetooth. Right. Okay. But if you don't have a Bluetooth device, and in this video, we're not gonna have a Bluetooth device. Yeah. Because we're just trying to keep it simple. Yeah. 
something I've already done. The other one is on doing. our Patreon, when you pay money to see us <laughs> use the scale. <laughs> that's right. And that's yeah. one of the things is, yeah. because the top is this very thin piece of plastic, yeah. it's pretty stable. Now, one thing at this scale, I'm trying to do something new. Mm. And all the scales that I have ever encountered are all about stable weight. You mm. put something on it, right? It just so, reads. So yeah. This is very meta. I'm going to put a scale yeah. on a scale. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So mm. they give you a stable weight. Mm. Now, if I start wobbling this table, it's yeah, going to move it's a little. Playing up. And the reason is, is that all scales out there lie about what's happening. They try to figure out when the scale weight yeah. has stabilized. And yeah. then when there's small differences, they don't show it. It just, yeah, okay. Okay. Because people freak out when the numbers are playing up, right? And the, re the reality is, this is a little piece of metal that's super, super Ooh, sensitive. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And this is the first scale that is meant to be tracking of change. Right. So rather than all about stable weight, yeah. it's all about change. So there is no latency. As soon as the weight changes, it shows it instantly. Refresh rate is 10 times a second. So it's following your general policy of just complete openness. Complete Even openness. if it looks weird. That's right. And the other reason is, is that the algorithm, the math for yeah. smoothing, for deciding when the weight yeah. is whatever it is, yeah. is complicated. Right. And right. some people want it, some people don't. Yeah. And my feeling is the software in your app should yeah. decide when the weight's stable and if you smooth it or not and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, so. My goal here was not to load up a scale with lots of buttons, lots of software, mm. lots of firmware, make it really simple. Yep. So now you've just turned the timer on. Yeah, I was just pressing the other button. That's right. <laughs> and if we press this one now, okay. the timer stops. Cool. Okay. And I press it again, it's going to reset to zero and start again. So how can you stop it and then continue? Nope. Okay. Because that is such not a common thing to want to do. Right. So that's yeah. why I didn't do that. Right, okay. okay. Just handle the common case. Yeah. So zero is power off. Watch on, power all the off. comments telling you, no, I want to use it. And like yeah, that. Well, yeah. You know what? The app can turn the timer on, off, and reset it. Wait, so it has an app? It, so if someone writes an app, ah, right. so if you go to decentespresso.com slash yeah. scale, yes. look for decent Can you scale. tell that I work here and I know everything? Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can click on the API docs, which yeah. I wrote. Mm. Uh, and that's why when I say the app, well, it's the yeah. app that I wrote here. Right, so right. Decent Espresso decent, yeah. currently works for that scale. But hopefully more of them. And yeah, you have control over the timer. So you actually, mm. if with an app, could make it start, stop, and right. then continue again. Nice. OK. Just not there. Yeah. I want the majority case to be there, two yeah. buttons. Okay? Right. And let's tear it. Here, we'll put. <laughs> That on there. Now we know so how much is weight. going. Yeah. Okay. Hold that down. Now I tear it to zero. Wow. Okay. Let's stop. Man, that. that's that's way too simple. You made it just like. Yeah. It's dummy proof. It's dummy proof. There's yeah. no troy ounces. Yeah. There's no uh, weigh something divide yeah, yeah. by quantity. Oh god. No. Use yeah. a calculator. Yeah. It weighs. It times. That's it. Okay. Turn Amazing. it off. Yeah. Hold the O button down. Sleep. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Sweet. If you plug it in, yeah, it'll just stay on forever. Right. Okay. If you turn it on with batteries, mm. if you plug it in, you have to take the A4 batteries out, I imagine. No. Really? Yeah, it just bypasses them. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't blow up. Doesn't blow up. Doesn't charge them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, and that's what I do usually, and that way it works either way. Yeah. Okay. So the nice thing is, is if you want a scale that's always on, plug it in, and yeah. it will always be on, always be blinking. And so you're not draining a battery. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And as soon as you run your app, it'll pair it because it's never timing out. It's always yeah. blinking blue lights. Blinking blue One lights. One thing I do every time I see any scale is to just try to get to the maximum. All right. Yes. Well, go. I said overload is what yeah. it said. Oh, did it say that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh so, yeah. Oh L. Okay. By the way, don't do that. <laughs> 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 okay. So yeah. proof yeah. <laughs> that even at decent espresso, yes. we're not necessarily as smart as you think we are. No. <laughs> so don't do that because uh, it's called a load cell. It's two okay. pieces of metal yeah. connected by a very thin piece yeah. of metal. If you put more than two kilos on yeah. there, you risk fatiguing it and yeah. permanently damaging the load cell. All right. In which I'm case, gonna just see myself out case, of this frame. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. So uh, don't do that. And yes. in fact, I would say with any scale, not yeah. just mine. Um, let's say I put something heavy on there. Don't leave that on permanently. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because what's going to happen is that load cell is going to slowly yeah. bend with time. Right. Right. Okay. And then when I go back, it's not necessarily going to go out to zero. It right. did here. And then that you was do that, and then it just tears. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. 
Very sensitive, I like it. Yeah, it's super sensitive and you can see it's really fast. It really is 10 times per second. Yeah. I, I, part of what took so long was getting the CPU really good and we, we actually made a bunch of videos for ourselves where we mm. stacked one scale on top of another, other companies. Yeah. And then we connected apps to them and then we tracked to see how quickly they were all going. Nice. And we found the best scale we could find, mm. our competitor. Yeah. Two and a half times the price, <laughs> but really nice scale. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Yeah. Um, and we kept working on this and working on this mm. until our line was as fast as theirs. Right. Okay. And then eventually it got a little faster. Yeah. And so what we do is like, quickly, put this on. Yeah. Take it off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's Does the line very move quickly, quickly too. Exactly. Yeah. So that is cool. the decent scale. Um, All right. When is it out for sale? It is out for sale now, and I've got another video available here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where I pour water on this. It's really yeah. exciting um, because um, it was going to say, ah, yeah, yeah. If it's mm. on battery power it, and you don't use it, it will turn itself off. And after how long? Two minutes, I think. But you know, it's a fuzzy two minutes because it's two minutes of the weight not changing. Right, yeah. So, so if it's like... Yeah, really so it doesn't like turn itself off while you're weighing cool. things, <clears throat> which yeah. is slightly annoying. Yeah. Um, and there it is, blinking blue lights. What else I'll tell you? Ah, yeah. So you see that purple light on the top right? Yeah. Okay, that tells you the weight is currently seen as being not stable. Okay, so as soon as I stop, that light I goes see. away. So instead of rounding it for you, mm. So, see so how as soon as it turns off, that means you can like trust the reading. That, That's right. Yeah, okay, okay, I see. So, but instead of now no longer showing you the changes, yeah. it shows you the change. And that purple light turns on and off as the weight changes. Cool. Okay. That is very nice. So it's super, super fast. All right, I like it. Um, what can I say? It is a bit thicker than other scales. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it fits perfectly under that. Yeah, it's the very decent, pretty yeah. here, and it was meant yeah. to go like that. Yeah. And you put two cups there. Yeah. And hopefully coming to an app near you. Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. Thanks, guys.